Hello, my name is John McConnell. I'm an eye surgeon. I was originally a general practitioner in Cape Town, working at Kruiski Hospital and in the city itself, and moved over to the United Kingdom about 35 years ago, and I've been working as an eye surgeon during that time. And um, my main interest has been in retinal detachment surgery, but of course the bread and butter for any eye surgeon is the treatment of cataracts, one of the most common conditions that we encounter, and the operation for which is probably the most successful operation anywhere in the world today. However, a lot of people who develop cataracts don't actually understand what it is. Um, uh, one misconception is that it is a skin grey over the front of the eyes. In fact, it is a clouding of the lens within the eye. We all have a, a, a lens in the eye which allows us to focus the light onto the back of the eye, onto the retina. And with time, with age, with degeneration, the uh, lens of the eye becomes cloudy and this is what is known as a cataract. Cataract comes from the Greek word meaning a waterfall. So you can imagine water falling over the front of the eye causing cloudy vision and this is what a, a cataract does. It clouds your vision. Um, treatment for a cataract these days, because the operation is so successful, is often offered at a very early stage. In fact, optometrists regularly refer patients to an eye clinic for cataract surgery at the first sign of a cataract. However, although it can be done at an early stage, and we don't any longer have to wait and wait for the cataract to ripen, the ideal time to do a cataract operation is when it is impacting adversely on a patient's lifestyle. So uh, when it comes to the issue of deciding when to offer the patient the operation, I generally ask the patient if it is causing him or her any trouble. And if they say, yes, it is uh, affecting my ability to read comfortably, or any other reason, I would then advise them to go ahead with cataract surgery. And the operation itself, uh, from the patient's point of view, is very simple indeed. Although, of course, from the surgeon's point of view, it is quite an intricate and uh, delicate operation. Um, what happens is that the eye is opened through a very small incision, about less than three millimeters in length, and um, the cataract is broken up using ultrasound and then sucked out from its enclosing capsule which is left behind in the eye. And this transparent capsular bag is the situation into which the artificial lens is placed. It's a bit like um, the classical ship in a bottle. Um, you fold the lens in half, insert it into the eye, into the capsular bag, and then allow it to open up within the eye and the incision is so small it doesn't even require sutures and because there are no stitches required the recovery from the operation is extremely rapid and in fact the operation can be done without an anesthetic as such simply using eye drops or possibly a small injection around the eye to take away the pain so the operation is is pretty well pain free it only takes perhaps 15-20 minutes to complete and the patient is able to return to the recovery room almost immediately and goes home within a couple of hours and uh, within a few days the patient is pretty well back to normal except perhaps better than normal because his sight has now been restored. Um, so a cataract operation, the most successful procedure undertaken surgically in the world today um, is something which many, many people need to undergo and it's surprising just how often the patient doesn't actually appreciate that the cataract is something which is within the eye and it is removed and replaced by an artificial lens um, leading to fantastic visual recovery and um, very happy patients.